As we approach the end of the year, it's time for people to be considering if they're happy with their payroll provider and if they want to switch to a different one. So if you have been struggling throughout the year and you're thinking, hey, I think I want to change my payroll provider, or maybe you want to, you're starting to hire employees and you need to pick a payroll provider, you might be looking at the different options. So what this video is about today is showing you guys the gusto payroll platform. So Gusto is one of the kind of main payroll providers for focused specifically on small businesses. And since this channel, a lot of the people who are watching this channel are small business owners, or you are serving small businesses as an accountant, you might be curious about seeing what Gusto is all about. So I wanted to just give you guys a walkthrough. So I did one of these walkthroughs four or five years ago, and this was probably one of the very first videos on my, it, it was the very first video on my YouTube YouTube platform to get over like 100 views. <laughs> so at the beginning of 2020, I had 50 subscribers. No, I maybe had less than 50 subscribers. I had like maybe 25, 30 subscribers on my YouTube channel, but I did have 7,000 views on a Gusto tutorial video of showing you a walkthrough of, Go of Gusto. So that is still out there and floating around there and it's still getting some views, but I thought I would update it since it's been a long time. <laughs> since that was recorded. And also this is kind of a time where you, it, it's nice to see something before you commit to it and making a transition into a new payroll provider is actually a pretty big deal. I am giving you this video around the time as, of the end of the year so that you can decide, you know, if you want to do the transition, it is very, very nice if you can do it to do a transition at the very end of the year. So your last payroll is run with a previous provider and then you start new payroll as of January 1. The nice thing about that is your employees don't have to get two W-2s from two different systems. It's cleaner from a tax reporting perspective. And it's just, it's a little bit easier to just do that. But if you can't manage that, it's okay. Try to do the transition with whatever your payroll provider recommends because if they were only doing transitions at the end of the year, that would be kind of a nightmare for them. So they're very used to helping people transition from one uh, payroll provider to another. So if you miss the end of your deadline, it's not the end of the world, or maybe you're watching this in June, it's not the end of the world. You can make a transition whenever you want, <laughs> but just take the payroll provider's recommendations on when is the right time to transition, okay? Probably not good to do like right in the middle of a pay period, for example. You know, there's just some really practical things like that. Okay, but I'm going to hop into a screen share so I can show you guys the uh, Gusto payroll platform and yeah, let's do it. If you aren't already subscribed to the channel, I'd love to have you here as a subscriber. And if videos like this are helpful, please make sure to like the video so that I know that this is the kind of stuff you guys want to see. All right. And leave any questions about Gusto in the comment section below. I will also put a link to Gusto below. So if you want to check it out, they always have promotions of like a free gift card or something when you sign up. My, I'm going to be totally honest. My link isn't really any different than probably what you can get on their website. They haven't given me any kind of special deals or anything like that. So, you know, do what's right for you. If this is really helpful and you want to sign up for Gusto, it does help support me if you use my link, but I won't know <laughs> if you don't either. So, you know, you make a decision that's right for you. Go and get the best deal. That's what, I mean, if somebody else is giving you more money for it, go and get the best deal. Let's go ahead and get into Gusto and I will show you guys this platform. Here we are in the Gusto platform. The first thing I want to check is to see what level we're at for a billing perspective so that you guys can see okay it says we're on a premium plan don't pay attention to this dollar amount because i don't think that's right but premium plan if you go to the gusto pricing that's their highest plan so it doesn't tell exactly what the pricing are what what the pricing is but uh, you can see they have a simple product a plus and then premium quickly the big difference between just the simple and then the plus is that there's a lot more like employee management tools. So PTO management, hiring tools, workforce costing reports, team management tools, performance reviews, surveys, things like that. So it's a little bit more robust of like an HR employee management system, not just payroll. So you're kind of doing that when you step up into the next plan. And then also this is a multi-state payroll. Okay, so if you have employees in a couple different states, you're probably going to want to use the plus versus the simple. I think that's kind of a new thing that they've done recently. So 
single state if you are on simple and then you need to go up to plus if you have employees in multiple states. Okay, so I'm not talking about the pricing though. I just wanted to kind of give a context to some of the things you see here, like some of these HR resources might be available in a premium plan, but they might not be available if you're looking at a simple plan, okay? So I'll try to point that out if I know for sure. But really high level, so at your homepage, you're gonna see, uh, they're gonna give you some reminders if there's any time off requests you need to approve or if you you know are not connected to an accountant this will be kind of a little bit of a dashboard of like anything that you need to do right here but i'm going to go and get into some of the different modules so over here in the people module we can look at team members this is where you can see everybody who works for you in one place you can also add people very easily you can add you know all, all the information if they're a contractor or if they're between if they're just an individual sole proprietor, if they're actually a business, like somebody could add me as Clara CFO group as a business contractor in this sense, if they wanted to pay us through Gusto. And then you can actually uh, send offer letters directly through here. So this is kind of part of the first step of the onboarding. You can also, well, let's go back to team members because I think this is kind of important. Let's look at an individual employee. This, this is what you spend a lot of time on if you need to go in and look at an employee. So I think this is kind of important. I really like the interface of Gusto. I have to say, it's just very simple. I've been using it for a long time, so maybe I'm a little biased, but it's very simple. It's pretty intuitive. You can kind of guess where to find some things. So I really do like that about it. And it's very easy to navigate. So here's job and pay. This will tell me all about the job, you know, with the compensation. You can click in here and see that, how they're getting paid, their their taxes, their state taxes. You can make edits to that. If you need to make edits to pay, you can do all of that. They can set up their pay to get paid into multiple accounts, which is really nice. You can easily look at, if you wanna run an added payroll, there's some action items over here on the right-hand side. And then all of their personal information. So anything about them that you need to know, it's there, emergency contact. If you have performance reviews, you can keep that in here. If they've requested any time off, if you have other apps connected, that's here as well. Actually in the onboarding, you can connect certain apps and then just actually invite people directly to things. So they do have some pretty cool onboarding tools and onboarding checklists. You can save any of their documents. You can upload certain documents. So let's say you have maybe a non-disclosure agreement or something that you want all of your employees to sign. You can create an NDA and then that document, every employee that comes on, you can have them sign that. So I do this for like our employee handbook. You can upload your employee handbook and then make sure that every employee looks at it and signs it before as part of the onboarding. You can also manage their benefits from here. So if you have health insurance, vision, dental, Gusto can actually act as your broker for those things. So they do, you know, they do offer a lot of options when it comes to health insurance. They can help you find a good fit if you're looking for that. And you can see it all right here, what they're enrolled in and what they're not. And then you can just leave notes and things like that. So it's kind of like the individual team member view. There is onboarding. There is, you know, obviously we're not looking at that right now. They have even have an offboarding process, which is good. They have a customization of an offboarding. I've never even looked at this before, but yeah, the make sure that you can do you know, the same thing every time, you know, maybe you have a task of something about, you know, getting your, the business equipment back to you, or maybe it's, you know, removing the name off of, of a door or something like that. You know, you can actually build out a custom checklist here. Let's go into like the org chart. It's nice to be able to see this. This is all dependent on, you can create managers and in the individual team members, like for each team member who's their manager. So then it will show an org chart. There are some hiring tools here. This is again in that plus or enterprise, you have access to some of these hiring tools. So you can create offer letters, which is always really great. And then this actually has an applicant tracking system. That's pretty special. So if you're looking for any of these hiring tools, make sure you understand if it's in your plus pricing or if it's in your enterprise. I wanna say, it looks like most of these are gonna be in this plus pricing, advanced hiring and onboarding tools. Job applicant tracking system is in plus, offer letters, onboarding checklist. Okay, so that's all in plus. This really, when you get into enterprise, you're getting a lot of services as well. So like the HR services, uh, access to a certified HR expert, payroll migration, broker integration. So that's kind of, that's kind of a little bit next level but it looks like all of these would be available in plus, okay? 
So that's really great. And then actually that they can help you in recruiting too. This is kind of new since the last time I did this video. So I like seeing that. Again, performance tracking, if you want to keep track of that, it is in here. And this is in that plus offer. And then it also looks like they have some training, which is also very good. So you can probably ask your employees to take certain training if you want them to do that. And then we have, we can move into the company from there. So we can, you know, set up your company. This is kind of probably something you do one, you don't really have to do it besides that. Team documents you can keep here. And this has recommendations, things, opportunities that you can look at. During the PPP time, there was recommendations around PPP and some tools and stuff around that. So they do keep up on stuff. So they have some R&D tax credits here that they could potentially help with. And if they have any other new tools, it might be just be something to pay attention to. I'm sure they'll notify you if they have a new service. Okay, and then running payroll. I actually really like how they run payroll. They have the autopilot, which I love, love, love. So if you have all of your employees on, all your employees are on salary, you really don't ever have to like press a button to run payroll. It will automatically do it for you. And that is so great because nobody wants to be in charge of pressing the payroll button, but it is good to be able to know that that is like being taken care of. Now, if you have employees that are on time cards and you need to review those every month, that's a little bit of a different process. But payroll is really easy here as well. Let's just look and see if we can look at running payroll. So you can review everything. Let's say you needed to add a reimbursement. You can do that. You can add other earnings, maybe a special commission or a bonus. You can always add in. I also like that sometimes you can do gross versus net. So if you want to give a bonus at, you want the, the employee to receive like $400, you, it will back into like how much you need to pay them from a gross perspective in order for them to actually get $400 in their bank account. So I like that. But if you need to make any modifications to payroll, you always can. Okay, so you can modify things and then continue and run payroll. I'll show you time off based on what's been approved. And I definitely like the preview of payroll. It's nice to just double check things before you press the button. Actually, the platform that I'm using, JustWorks, they do not have a preview and it drives me nuts. It's like one of my biggest complaints is that I can't see a preview before I run payroll. It feels very strange to me because I was using Gusto before and I always really like to just double check all the numbers before you, you know, potentially pay out, you know, tens and thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars. It's nice to review it to make sure that it's correct. There is the payroll number, and then you would just submit payroll from there. Easy peasy. You can also pay contractors, domestic and international, which I think is great. So they're up to 121 countries now to be able to pay. And then paying bills, this is new. So you can pay other vendors, which I did not know. How much does bill pay cost? It's currently, currently, <laughs> keyword, free to use. So yeah, Gusto reserves the right to change this policy in the future. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised about that, but you are able to pay bills. So this might be good if you don't want to have to go and like have another bill pay system. You just have a couple vendors that you want to pay regularly. Like for example, maybe your rent wants to go, like you want to pay your rent regularly and you want that to go out on a consistent basis. Looks like you can just set up a schedule for payment and then it will happen automatically. So I do like that. We do have an expense feature. This is also new since the last time that I did this video. They did not have the ability to do this, but you, this is for reimbursing employees for expenses. And then you can always look at payroll history and then this is the payroll settings. So you can change the frequency. So if you want to move from like semi-monthly to bi-weekly or something like that, or move from weekly to bi-weekly, you can do that as well. They do have some time tools as well. You can put in your time off requests for approval. And then they do have kind of a basic timesheet. The last time I looked at their timesheets, I was not super impressed. This doesn't have time kiosk working, but they do have the ability to project track. So we might need to dig into timesheets a little bit more. So let's just say Isaiah Isaiah can record the time based on the project if they want to. Okay, I don't like this view. I prefer a grid style when I'm recording time like Harvest has, but 
That's okay. That's just my preference. But you can record your time here in Gusto. And then now they've really been building out benefits over the past couple of years. So they do have the ability to be your broker for medical dental vision. They have a FSA. You can have a, a lot of different benefits that can be integrated here. They do have options for 401ks as well. I would definitely check out their benefits if you're looking to explore. Maybe you already have Gusto and you're trying to decide to offer some benefits. I would look at this and see, you know, they've got They've got not just like the big benefits that you think of, like the health insurance, you know, medical, dental, all of that, but they also have other benefits like charity matching or maybe covering the cell phone costs. So sometimes it's really nice to have these sort of ancillary, smaller benefits for employees. So it's something to think about if you're trying to look at your whole benefits package. And then they do have a whole like tax setup. So you can go and look at, like they're gonna be paying your taxes for you on your behalf most of the time, but you can go back and look and see what they've actually filed, federal, state, and 1099s, W-2s, everything. So that history is kept here. So you can go and always pull that so you can see, did they actually file my taxes for me? and you can check it out. And then I do like their reporting module. I have always really enjoyed their reporting. It's really straightforward. They have lots of different like canned reports and they also have some abilities to create custom reports. I think this is probably of all the payroll providers I've seen, I like Gusto reporting the best because I just think it's like really straightforward and easy to pull. Like just, um, let's just do a payroll journal, for example. You can decide what you want to show in the payroll journal, and then you can create a range. So let's just say it's year to date. You can include all employees. You can just call out just specific employees. If you wanna see one employee in particular, you can group it by state, work location, department, all these things. And then you can view it as a PDF or as a CSV. So I'm just gonna pull something real quick just to show you guys. But I, I definitely think they've done a really good job in their reporting, really easy to read here and really easy to customize as well. So that was very much a help when we got into the PPP time and some of these payroll providers had the worst reporting I've ever experienced in my life. And I'm like, how, how, how can you even have such horrible reporting with some of these companies? But Gusto has always been really great with its, with its reporting. Okay, that's high level enough, I think, for today's video. So this is Gusto. And it, you know, if you want to dig into any one of these a little bit more, let me know in the comments section below. But I wanted to kind of give you guys just the big high level overview. If you're interested in learning more about Gusto, you can go to clarocfo.com slash Gusto check that out. But yeah. So if you have any comments or questions, put them in the comment section below and I'm happy to take a look and answer your questions. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye everybody.